you say the meta in TF2, you're probably asking yourself, comp or casual? For this sake, I'm talking about the casual meta, because as far as comp goes, I'm not a comp player. Not really that good at the game. Although, I will bring up some comp pointers to further the idea for the video's sake. One thing that for certain is TF2 has a lot of weapon fanny playstyle, being a black knight or whatever the fuck these things do, I don't, I don't even know. One thing that I found is that I really like gimmick weapons, and if you're wondering, what is a gimmick weapon? It's a weapon where its niche playstyle revolves around weird, unusual mechanics compared to base weapons. For this video, I picked three weapons to be the front five gimmick weapons. Put them into their own category based on how usually the community feels about them, such as the loose cannon, which most people think is a meme weapon. The cow mangler. What the fuck is this? The classic. Fucking terrible. Most of the time when someone sees you with these weapons, they think A, you just installed the game, B, you're a memer, or your soundsmith recording a casual meta. Also, by the way, I'm in one of those. So why do I like fucking this butt? Anywho, the issue lies with the meta being the best all-around choice for you, like a black box for sustain or a stock rocket launcher for how reliable it pumps out damage. And a lot of the time, these gimmick weapons are not the best choice due to their inconsistency. Now, what does the meta mean? Well, in gaming, or in this case, online multiplayer games have their own lingo that they use. So meta technically is most effective tactic available. That means if a player has a loadout equipped that is the most useful, these weapons have tactics of their own, but however, they're not effective compared to the meta picks. So is there any way they could be in the meta? Well, maybe they could. What do I look like here? A fucking miracle worker? This is one of those weapons where it's on the what the fuck is this list. Because simply, what what the fuck is this? Why is it called the cow mangle? Like, what'd they do to you? Yeah! I love this weapon, but what? Why? Who said, who said, yes, I would like infinite ammo, no crits and sentries, who fucking cares? This thing could become a shitty side grade if random crits got removed. If. Or else you're playing on a server that doesn't, then good for you. Can I get a link? Can this thing be in the meta? Well, it has a potential due to its infinite ammo and charge shot. And it has very similar stats to that of the stock rocket launcher. I'd recommend using this on defense. Or you're not gonna run into that many Texans. I mean, it looks cool. That goes for something, right? I don't know why that's a point. I just really like how the model and how it looks. It's all futuristic and shit. But hey, this fine looking thing's gonna have to bring something else to the table. What else does it bring? Eh... Charge shots can be very useful. Well, a sort of crowd control. You just charge it up, and it's like a little surprise party. <laughs> Except there's fire. Can this weapon make it into the meta? Maybe. <laughs> the classic. There's a reason why I call this gun the ASIC. Because this gun is ass. You know, it's funny, since you don't have to scope down with the classic, you thought more snipers using this would have good game sense, but sometimes that's not the case. This weapon is for those old school TF classic players. As far as a lot of sniper rifles go, this is the worst pick. The classic falls under it has many better options, much like other bad weapons. But the reason why it's bad is due to its gimmick in general. What do I mean by this? Well, an example of how a gimmick can actually handicap you. Sniper pre-game, you have a lot of time to charge down your scope, however, in competitive, the first thing a sniper does is target the other sniper, but due to it not being able to headshot until completely charged leaves you disadvantaged best parts of his kit, which is his critical hits. That'd be like if there's a weapon where it's like, you can only backstab someone every 30 seconds. Why, why would you equip that? This ultimate hindrance compared to stock is why a lot of problem with gimmick weapons can be is that they just don't cut it against other options. Can this weapon be in the meta? That's a very hard no. Unless this weapon gets a rework of some kind or some sort of buff, I don't see this thing ever being used in any form of competitive or even casual play. Loose cannon! I like to think of myself as a high class loose cannon aficionado. Meaning, I really like this weapon and I wonder why not many people use it. 
This is one of those gimmick weapons that people call the meme weapon. A lot of gimmicks fall under this. The thing is about gimmicks is that it can actually benefit a weapon. And this is a good example. Or you could just use it to harass snipers on 2 fort. That's usually what most people do with that anyway. Just like how a double donk can actually do more damage than a direct pill hit. It's just not as consistent like other weapons unless you know how to use it. You know what they say about it firing in spurts. It has a pretty good knockback. And not to mention, spamming at a choke point. Whew. Oh baby, especially on defense, can knock back an entire team from getting to that objective. Good demo man, that can land a direct hit, timing it just right to hit that fucking double dunk. I would say this weapon has a high skill cap, technically speaking, since this weapon has a possibility of being more effective than other grenade launchers in the hands of a good demo man, this could be the most effective tactic available. Could the loose cannon be meta? Yes, it is a strong yes for me people who use these weapons under this category not taken serious. If these weapons are fun, why doesn't everybody else use them? Well, because some people don't have fun that way, meaning that they pick whatever loadout that will benefit this. I mean, some could just have fun from just the thrill that they could win or lose. Most of the time, try hard is used as an insult, just as calling someone who's having fun a meme or a casual. I think both can have fun in their own way. And remember, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Misty eyes. You are my happy ending. Don't know why I've been playing it. Expense. Mm -hmm.